Good afternoon, campers. That sounds very condescending, but good afternoon, campers. So today, um, I started working on one thing, and then before you know it, I ended up working on a bunch of little electrical things. So first up, we got the little under the bed, under the platform uh, light going on. So we got that going and uh, turn that off. And then over down here, I ended up installing a switch for a little, um, what do you call those things? You know, those things that you plug the, you know, uh, USB port. Um, so I found that this morning in the box and I says, you know, why not? So I got sidetracked and uh, ended up putting that in. And then of course I thought, well, you know what, let me order three more and I'll pull one up there by the, the head of the bed. So I got a hole drilled, but I don't have it yet. The wires are over there. And then I got the wires over there for that one. So I'm gonna have a switch and a plug and a switch and a plug. And then here, of course, we got the switch and the plug. And the uh, switch is just so I can turn it off at night and not be looking at it. And then we got, ta-da, we got a nice little uh, floor light so that, you know, in the middle of the night when the wife gets up to do, uh, you know, do some duty, uh, she's got to, you know, release some uh, pressure, you know, she can hit the little switch here. And she'll have a little bit of floor light, you know. Obviously the platform is not here. We don't have the bag installed yet. Or the curtain, whatever, I don't know, whatever. But then I also ended up doing the same thing over here too. So now I got me a little floor light. It's kind of hard, there's a little light coming in from the back door, but. But now I got me a little floor light on this side. So, men's side women's side that's how we sleep at night in the bed so that, and the, the the little potty is going to be about right in this area so um i think that'll work out really well and then of course um i went ahead and i got the heater controller installed right there i wish i'd left more room because i need one of these i got some timer dial switches you can hear it ticking. Um, this is for the water pump. So if you're gonna go use the sink, you got the dial, you're gonna have to turn on the dial to get the pump on. And then that way, if you forget to turn it off, well, it's gonna time out. Cause we've already had a catastrophic water leak um, in a past camping incident. So I'm gonna have one here on the inside for this sink and then I'll have one on the outside wherever we do our outside connection um, to take showers and stuff outside. I'll have one out there so that either one is gonna turn on the pump and uh, whichever timer, you know, however long it takes, you know. These go up to one hour and this will handle 110 volt. These are just regular residential spring-loaded um, timers. So I think it was one of like 12 bucks each, something like that. So that'll work good for the water thing. And you know, because it's ticking, it'll remind you to turn it off too. So if it's bothering you, you can just slide it and then the timer stops in about five, 10 seconds. Um, so that's it for now. That was a lot of work. And then of course we got, I wanted to make some, let's get the lights on. Wanted to make some backing so that, um, you know, I don't want the wires to get damaged or the back of the switch to get smacked so i made a little bit of a frame and i glued in a little piece and now we got a little a little panel there we got a little panel and you know throwing a throwing a couple screws but i've got a little panel there so the wires don't get damaged i got the same thing over on that side over there same idea. And we got a little panel there. And of course, a couple more screws. And that's just to keep stuff from smacking it and damaging it. And then my main power wire comes in the trailer from right there, from the front. 
we've got our main splice box up in that section the light wire and the main and then the wires for the usb ports uh, they all come right here and i've got a fuse right here and um, i still need to sort out all the rest of the wiring for the trailer um if you go back to like episode nine or whatever um, there's a, a crap ton of wire that i ran up each rail so from that corner all the way down to that corner there's just a big old bundle of i just threw in everything i possibly could and same thing from this corner all the way down to that corner there's just a big old bundle and that's basically like i say just to cover anything i could possibly think of um so i had a large gauge for a charging wire because i didn't know for sure where the batteries were going to go i've got um, extra wires for extra running lights for for accessories for anything i could think of so there's a ton of extra wire in there um when i'm all done really i'm probably going to end up pulling out some of it because it's really crammed and if i'm not going to use it maybe there's no reason to have it but that's what we got going on right now. Um, of course, um, forget what I was gonna work on this morning. Uh, we need to work on the profile. I already have my template for the curve for the back here, um, but I'm not really certain on the final height in this final curve, so I'm not sure because that the height of that is gonna be literally one half an inch shorter than the top of that so if i have the fan installed then i would need to take off the the tires and drop the whole frame down on some like some caster wheels or something and then get it out of the garage get it back up on the wheels all that so i was thinking about maybe dropping the roof down low enough where i can get out of the garage with the max air fan which I have sitting in a box right here. And it collapses down, but it, it still, I mean, collapsed height is still about, I think seven or eight inches tall. So that means I would have to drop this ceiling seven or eight inches, which would be really low. So I don't know if it's really worth doing that. I want to keep the ceiling height as high as I can for the tallest cabinets I can have and the tallest storage cabinet I can have. So, um, kind of debating on that, but that's what I really need to do next. I need to get the template out of storage and I need to get it plastered up here and really decide what the curve is going to be. And then I can start working on this section. And that's what I really want to do. But I felt like doing some electrical. It's always nice and fun to have some switches you can turn on you know playing with electrical once you get it working it's always fun to sit there and play with the switches you know turn it on turn it off <laughs> um but yeah that's all we got for today uh i had to work on the wife's honda uh worked on one of her uh, um, what do you call it um condenser fans on her her uh, radiator one of them wasn't working i had to work on that and just just tuning the air conditioning system because there's a it's been having a slow leak but anyways regardless uh, tomorrow i should be able to fingers crossed i should be able to put some more time into this tomorrow so we'll see what we can do um so yeah thanks for watching